what's going on guys it is raining 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 out here this is kind of like our version of winter out here in california but guess what day it is it's tuesday. john's birthday yeah, not just that tuesday too. it's the birthday of the love of my life i'm cool. so happy you were born me too thanks you're welcome happy birthday thank you happy birthday to me too you have one more year one more year of what? Before you're done. Before I'm thir old? Yeah. Old 30? <laughs> yep. You John's know, 29. Once upon a time, I told my brother, I was like, ha ah, you're gonna be 30 like a week before his birthday. And he's like, dude, you're 26. You're gonna be 32. Guess what? You're what? gonna be 30 before you know it. So. Yeah, I'm 26. Wow, wow, wow. Actually, it doesn't really bother me as much anymore as it did. Like when I was 20, I was like, oh my God, 30 sounds so old. But now that I'm 26, I'm like, 30 doesn't sound that old at all. Like, I'll still be looking fly when I'm 30. I don't care. Look at this. Rain, rain. Old man bumped his head and he wouldn't get up in the morning. Did he, Nikki? Did he? He did. What does that have to do with rain though? Because I just left out the first part of the song. It's like, oh. rain, rain, go away, come again another day. He went to bed and he bumped his head and he wouldn't get up in the morning. Something like that. Oh, it's well, a thing. I feel like him bumping his head and it raining are not really... I might be First mixing up two songs. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just remembered how it goes. It goes, rain, rain. No, I should have just started it again. It goes, it's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and he bumped his head and he couldn't get up in the morning. That's it. We're hydroplaning. Woo! No, Extreme. It's, not, it's like a, oh no. Oh. I mean, it's not that bad. You got it. It could be a lot worse. Well, this is an SUV with four-wheel drive, so as long as you don't drive like excessively fast ah. and extremely out of control, I mean, you, you basically like nothing will happen unless you're driving too fast for the conditions, which I'm not. I'm going about 45 miles an hour. Cool. Um, I should try to get out of the carpool lane because it's full of water, and that's what's leading to us hydroplaning. Ah, look at this! Whoa. You just sent like water flying over the thing. You get to do your favorite thing. Yep. Pushing the stroller. Oh, I thought you were talking about remembering where we parked. <laughs> JK. Baby girl, do you have a doctor's appointment? Yeah, you have a doctor's appointment, huh? They're gonna check you up. So we're back at the children's hospital again. Iris has an appointment with her pediatrician, and I'm not sure what they're checking up for today. I have no idea. Just the last time we were here, they made this appointment. All the trees. Baby. Daddy helping her out after she's been stripped down. She likes to stand in mounts. I don't really calm her down most of the time, mm -hmm. unless she's hungry or tired. What are you looking at over there? Something good? Dang it, George. Look, the key in the ceiling again. Iris is putting on weight though. She's like 11 pounds, two ounces or 11 pounds, five ounces. I forget which one they said. But 11 pounds already, wow. My hair's all wet now. Probably was pointless to straighten it today. Well, we went to the Thai place across the street from the hospital to grab some lunch. Iris fell asleep in the car. You were saying we're pretty lucky with restaurants yeah. so far. Yeah, she yeah, always sleeps. So mm -hmm. I don't want to jinx it though. Mm. Oh. Yummy your low curry. Very good. Yummy your low curry. I love your low curry. Ugh, I feel cold because of that rain. We have to turn the heat on. Not Iris though. Iris runs warm. It's weird because they tell you the rule for babies is dress them how you would feel comfortable plus one layer, but no, Iris gets hot. If we put any, if we put like long sleeves on her and pants, she starts crying and then we feel her and she's sweating. So we have to have a short sleeve shirt on her and we'll touch her arms and she feels just fine. Like I wonder why she runs so warm. I was gonna decorate the cake myself. Well, apparently you gotta buy little toppers, tubes, Betty Crocker thingies to decorate the cake with, to put on top to write stuff. That's how they get ya. Five dollars for icing, but you gotta buy the little tops, too. 
So fail on my part. I can't decorate John's purse in high heels cake. Iris is out. I guess rainy days put babies to sleep too. She's been sleeping so much today. <coughs> what happened over there? Lola, did you have to tell Simon what's up? Boo, were you bugging Lola? You had to tell him what's up, huh? You and your swirl of blankets. I'm trying to wrap John's presents and Simon keeps going in my present bag. Simon, what the heck? Simon! Simon, you're so weird! Simon, you're such a cat. Present time! Hopefully we don't wake up Iris. Give me something from Victoria's Secret. Well, it could have been something that I put on, but no, I didn't. Oh, well, yeah. What do you think, Gizmo? Gizmo, Gizmo, was a bear. Happy birthday with hugs and kisses. I'm so happy I got to spend another year with you. I love you and appreciate you so much. I am thankful that you are my partner in life, and I look forward to spending many more years with you, Nikki. Happy birthday. I love you, Daddy. Iris. Aww. She wrote that herself. She's learning fast. She's got great handwriting. <laughs> Okay, I thought we had more wrapping stuff at home, but I guess not, so I did my best with what I found around the house. That's okay. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. I like red. I, yeah, I liked red stuff when I was shopping. Okay. Looks good. More red. Except, hopefully I don't get, well, I guess I'm, I can wear, wait. Is it blunt or the Crips are on the West Coast? I forget. I don't know. One of them's not supposed to wear your colors around here because make you shop. <laughs> JK. That's cool. I thought that would be good to wear out in Hollywood. And then that's something fun. Yeah, it looks fun. So that's a robotic arm that you build yourself, and it works on hydraulics, and you move it around and pick stuff up with it. Cool. I thought you might like that. Yeah. Probably will. Be fun? Yeah. To put together? Put it on my desk or something and mm -hmm. play with it. Before. Happy birthday. I to love me. you. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. I love you too. Yep, another year older. I'll be 30 next year. Mm -hmm. Simon likes the bag. Yes, Good he job. does. He was messing with it when I was trying to put your presents in there. He's hilarious. <laughs> so funny. Such a funny cat. Cool. Well, we should build this. Okay. See how it works. Have fun with it. And Iris did not wake up when we were opening presents. I was a little worried that she might if we were talking. John, what are you doing? Just I think shopping for a new Simon. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't leave. <laughs> He's so funny. Let's just sit in bags. This is like the second or third bag I've got him in. <laughs> You're a funny cat, Simon. So John's birthday this year is going to be pretty chill. You know, we're new parents, so we're just staying in and hanging out. John ordered himself some Pizza Hut for dinner because that's his favorite pizza place. Yep. You love your Pizza Hut. I do. I actually, I'm not a big fan of Pizza Hut, but it's his birthday, so he gets whatever he wants. I told him he could go out and drink with his friends if he wanted to, too, and I just watched the baby. But he said no, he'd rather just spend time with me and Iris. Iris is sleeping now. I put her, put her to bed. How's your Pizza Hut? Good. That's good. How's your flash? Flash, flash and arrow. What? <laughs> what was that? Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a flash and arrow crossover episode. Oh. I'm really just waiting for persons of interest. I see. Chill, like TV movie night on your birthday. Mm -hmm. You are getting old, brother. I'm dad now. <laughs> this is my attempt at cake writing by piercing the top of the squeezy tube with a knife. Whoa, that cake actually looks crazy on the camera screen. So I just lit a bunch of candles for John. Wait, 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 no, 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 I have to sing for you. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Birthday, dear John. Scared. Happy birthday to you and many more. Well, thank you. Um, I know it's just kind of a really low key down to earth birthday, but we had to bring Iris to the doctor, and now that we have a baby, we can't just like run off and go to 
Jamaica with our baby. I so. still had a nice birthday with you. So did I. Did I really you have a nice birthday it. with me? Yeah, I loved it a lot. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're going home for Christmas. I'm really excited about that. So thank you. Uh -huh. I'll make my wish and blow out my candles. Make a wish. Okay. You have to think about it? No. Kind of. Maybe. <laughs> yes. <gasps> hey, you don't have any girlfriends. No. Oh, that's right. Dang, I should have not blown out all of them. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if I should call you lucky or unlucky. <laughs> you're getting it. Well, that was a pretty low-key birthday. You know, it was first birthday as a dad, and I will say that your first birthday as a parent is kind of a lot different than all your other past birthdays. I think drinking at the Saddle Ranch till 3 in the morning, those days it may have probably pretty much past uh, birthday wise. I got to hang out with Iris and Nikki, which was pretty much all I really wanted for my birthday. I really enjoyed my Pizza Hut. Nikki doesn't like Pizza Hut that much, so whenever I can order it and she can't complain about it, I absolutely love it. And I don't know, thin crust cheese pizza is just really, really good to me. Um, really, really enjoyed my birthday presents from Nikki. She was very thoughtful in going out to the mall and shopping for me and picking out awesome presents. I also got two pillows from my mom, which I really love new pillows, so that's a great birthday present too. Um, but all in all, it was a fantastic birthday. Another year down, next stop, 30 years old, I guess. That'll be pretty cool crazy being 30 that's like a third of a century old that's pretty old so oof, boy it happens fast but thanks for watching guys really really appreciate it please support Nikki and I by hitting that little thumbs up button down there and give baby Iris a thumbs up too because she deserves it and share this video with your friends on Twitter and Facebook and we will catch up with you guys next time